Yeah, it's done, Maya. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen again. Do you want us to start over or we can continue from this slide? Yeah, you can continue from this slide. Okay, okay. perfect. So as for the ranking, as you can see in this slide, um, CY Sergi Paris University is topped through 200 in mathematics and finance, top 300 for internationalization. It's in the world top three in management, thanks to ESSEC Business School. It's in the top five for professional integration in France. And as for CY Tech, it's in the top 15 ground equal engineering schools in France. So CY Paris uh, University has uh, one undergraduate school and five graduate schools. So the undergraduate, undergraduate school is CY SUP. And uh, in the graduate schools, there is CY Art and Humanities, CY Education, CY, CY Law and Political Science, the ESSEC Business School, and so CY Tech, where Maria and I are working. So for the international involvement of CY Sergi Paris University, um, the university has opted for a strategic international development, development with Europe, Africa, and Asia through uh, double degrees, joint research programs, shared campuses, and uh, strategic alliances such as Ethiopia, Ethiopia that has um, countries such as Spain, Slovenia, Sweden that are part of this alliance. And um, yes, we all as well have so to crystals in English that we're going to talk about in this presentation. And as for the network and partnerships, uh, CY Tech uh, works with uh, Erasmus Plus, the, um, um, the uh, Mobility in Europe program. We have the Bienvenue en France label, which is given to universities with a good welcoming of international students. So Utopia, the um, program I was talking about, and we are also part of the Conférence des Grandes Écoles, which is um, given by the French government to uh, schools with uh, a good level. Here at CY Tech, we have uh, also different student facilities. As you can see, we have for libraries, we have uh, university residences and private housing offers. We help students to find an accommodation. We have restaurants, uh, student sport facilities, over 47 student associations and a full range of cultural activities. On the next slide, you can see our different campuses. We are actually spread out all over Ile-de-France or Greater Paris. We have a campus at Sergi, at uh, Saint-Martin, Neuville. Uh, we also have a campus of the city of Go, which is in south of France, not that far away from the Spanish border. And since last year, we also have a brand new campus at Saint-Germain-en-Laye, which is at around 25 minutes from Paris. So for example, students who follow our bachelor program in that sense by design are going to study at the beautiful city of Saint-Germain-en-Laye. Next, I'm going to continue with our French taught programs. I'm going to present them very, very briefly. And I will start with our Grand École five-year elitist School of Engineering Master Program, which covers four majors, Applied Mathematics, Computer Science, Civil Engineering, and Biotechnology and Chemistry. Uh, the duration of the program is uh, five years or two academic years for the master level. Uh, students who follow this program have to do a mandatory work placement, an internship, and also a study abroad period for one semester or one academic year. And we require a B2 level in French for this program, as well as a three-year bachelor degree in order to access the master level. We also offer six uh, postgraduate programs in different areas, uh, for example, business intelligence, quality, security, and environment, uh, ERP management, smart systems, and IoT. Um, so the admission requirements are a five-year diploma or a four-year diploma and three years of professional experience and a B2 level in French. 
This is a one-year program, which consists of semester of studies and a semester of internship, after which students have to write their master thesis. And uh, we will continue the presentation with our Tech English programs. And I give the floor to Noemi, who is going to tell you more about our bachelor program. So our bachelor program in data science by design is a four-year uh, English tool program, uh, which is interesting to know is that that scientists are uh, very wanted and uh, researched for in Europe in the EU professional markets. There is a lot of vacant um, uh, vacant work placements that are looked for. Um, so the students in the bachelor graduate from a BSc honors diploma. And with an additional year, and if they have a good French level at the end of the four years, they can uh, graduate from, uh, from our five-year highly recognized Grand École Diploma in Engineering Studies. And uh, data science is an innovative field uh, which incorporates uh, inter artificial intelligence, business intelligence, programming, cybersecurity, uh, mathematics and statistics. So it's a very uh, broad program. Uh, the course program for the bachelor is as follows. So uh, two thirds of the program is for classes and courses. So uh, the course structure is uh, mainly mathematics, computer science, physics and economics. And uh, one third of the program uh, is uh, dedicated to projects. So each academic year um, has a, a submission of two, uh, two one week projects and two semester, semester projects. Um, there is one study abroad semester, which is mandatory. So as for now, it's in year three, but maybe next year is going to be uh, the last semester of year four. And uh, finally, there is uh, internships as, as, as well mandatory. And uh, as a total, it's um, the internships amount to 44 weeks. But uh, so it's for the first year, four weeks, four weeks of internships. Uh, the second year is eight weeks of mandatory internships, and the third year is six and weeks of mandatory internships. And for the fourth year, there is as well six month maximum internships. So as I said, there is thousands of jobs available for uh, after the bachelor in data science by design. So uh, in, in, in a lot of fields such as, as medicine, ecology, agriculture, and our future graduate students will be able to work as data analysts, as business intelligence managers, as data scientists, data architects, et cetera, et cetera. As for the admission requirements for the bachelor, so uh, we ask for a high school living certificate or an equivalent for strong academic skills in mathematics and science and for the mathematics, we really require very, very strong grades. For example, we require at a minimum of a B grade. Um, applicants that have a C in uh, mathematics will not be considered because it's considered it's too low for the bachelor. And we require as well uh, English towards um, um, a good level in English. So uh, we we ask for uh, an English certification such as this the TOEIC or the TOEFL. However, if uh, the, um, the applicant um, has English as his mother tongue, he can just uh, give us a paper from his high school that he has been following all his classes in English and it would be enough. We offer as well a master two program in big data. So students who follow this program will gain knowledge in architecture, business intelligence, business resource optimization, or data mining, for example. Then they can work in the field of IT, software, banking, healthcare, and they can work as a data scientist, consulting engineer, researcher, or for example, development experts. The duration of the program is of one year, which consists of a semester of studies, uh, during which students will also have intensive French lectures, and also a semester of internship, after which they have to write 
uh, a master thesis. Uh, as you have seen, uh, internships are a mandatory part for all our program. That's why we have a lot of industrial partnerships. We also have a special corporate relations department that helps students to find an internship. And something which is very important when talking about France, it's that internships are paid if they are longer than two consecutive months. The admission requirements for this program, so we require a minimum of four years of university studies related to the field of computer science, or three years of university studies and three years of professional experience. Uh, we require as well strong academic skills in mathematics and computer science, and also a B2 level in English. If you have any potential candidates uh, for this program, it is very important to send us all their, the transcript of records for all their years of studies. For example, if they have followed the bachelor program, we need their transcript of records for the whole four years. Uh, next, we offer as well two MBA programs, an MBA program in ERP management and an MBA program in cybersecurity and IoT. Uh, so this is a one-year program, which consists of semester of studies and a semester of internship. Again, for the admission requirements, we require B2 level in English and three years of higher education and three years of professional experience, because this is an MBA program. Lastly, we also uh, have, we'll have a summer school next year, which will be open to undergraduate and graduate students. So this is a four week uh, summer school program, which will take place uh, in July uh, next year. The topic is visual computing and artificial intelligence, and it is a combination of lectures and cultural activities in Greater Paris. And in addition to that, students will also have French as a foreign language uh, lectures. At the end of the summer school, students will obtain 12 ECTS. Uh, on this slide, you can see our admission contact, so do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Uh, you have as well the email address of our, our director, Michel Guimau, uh, the email address of Noemi, uh, my email address, and also the address of our International Relations Office. So thank you very much for your attention, and uh, we look forward to your questions now. Do you have any, any questions or was everything clear? We forgot to mention that the application deadline for our master and bachelor program is next week. It's next Friday. So if you have any potential students, uh, you have to send us their applications now. As for the MBA programs, the application deadline is at the end of September for the ERP management and at the end of November for the cybersecurity and IoT. Uh, so Maria, we can accept the applications till end of July, right? Yes, the application deadline is the 29th of July. So next okay. Friday. Okay, fine. And what about the spring intake? Uh, you know, is there any programs available for spring intake? Uh, for spring intake, no, uh, we have uh, an intake in September, so September 22, for our bachelor and master program. Uh, our MBA program in ERP management will open in uh, November, if I'm not mistaken, Noemi. Yes, exactly. And, and the other MBA program will take place in January 2023. Okay, fine. I think, uh, you know, our associates, they have a few questions. So they are just writing in the QA box in the chat box. So you can go through it and you can answer that. Okay. Yeah, so I, I see a question about what's the visa process. Uh, so once the student is admitted to our program, we, we will send him an admission letter and uh, he needs to then apply for a visa from our site. Uh, we also confirm by email to Campus France that the student has been accepted to our program. Uh, 
and once the student has paid uh, his uh, registration fees, um, we also inform campus funds. And for example, after the completion of their master program, students will also obtain a one-year post-study visa. And we also have um, connections with the prefecture here uh, at Sergi. So uh, if needed, we can also have students uh, with the renewal of their visa, for example. Uh, Maria, can you just focus more, you know, regarding this eligibility criteria? Can you just explain once again for master's and MBA both? Um, so the eligibility for the master's, uh, we require um, four years of studies at least, and uh, applicants that have three years of studies and three years of professional experience in data are as well eligible. For the MBAs, we we require at least uh, three years of studies and three years of professional experience, or for example, four years of uh, studies and two years of professional experience. The For the MBAs, the applicants that do not have uh, professional experience at all are not eligible. And also if the student has a professional experience, we need a proof of this experience and we also need a list of his responsibilities. So we uh, have an, yeah, sorry, Maria. Yeah, we uh, have another question in the, yes. in the chat box. Um, we, we actually have only one intake for uh, each program. So for the bachelor program and the master program, program in big data, the next intake is going to be in September, 2022. And for the MBA in ERP management, it's going to be in November. And for the MBA in cybersecurity, it's going to be in January. So we have only one intake per program. And we have another question um, about the fee structures of our programs. So for the bachelor program, the fee uh, for um, non-European students is of uh, 7,500 7, euros for the year. For the master for the year, it's 7,000 euros. And uh, for the MBAs, uh, it's uh, 11,500 euros. And uh, for the MBAs, it has to be noted that we will as well have application fees of 80 euros. The bachelor and the master's program do not have any application fee. So I just saw the question of Julia, yes, and uh, so no application fees for the bachelor and the master, but there is 80 years of application fees for the MBA. And uh, the second question, so, so uh, I guess it's for, uh, for example, if one student wants to apply for the MBA in Europe management, but as well for the one in cybersecurity. So what he can do, he can uh, choose the one he prefers. And, uh, and uh, if he's not uh, received for this one, he can as well uh, just pass another interview for the other MBA that he put at a second choice. There is no problem. He doesn't have to pay two, time, two times 80 euros. If he's interested by both MBAs, he only has to pay one time the application fees. And then uh, he just has to indicate to us that he wishes to apply for both. Uh, so we have another question about uh, the minimum requirements for the bachelor program. So uh, for the bachelor program, uh, the requirements are, are to have a high school certificate or an equivalent, to have a good English level, and most of all is to have a very good math level. Uh, so uh, yes, again, the grades required for the bachelor in mathematics are uh, an A or a B. Everything that's below a B, um, the applicant will not be eligible because we know it's not enough to just follow the classes of mathematics of the bachelor. And uh, for any proof of funds, I think it's for the 
Spicer. Um, Maria, do, do they need any proof of funds for uh, to apply to Advisor? Yes, I think students need to prove that uh, they have at least um, six, that they will have at least 600 euros per month uh, here in France. But it is best to check with Campus France India. Uh, yes, Ashriya, proof of funds is mandatory that you can contact your respective partner relationship manager from joining campus. So we will guide you, you know, for the, for the complete visa process that how a student needs to show the funds, how much they need to maintain and how we can show the financial documents that we will guide you. Uh, Maria, can you just explain them about the initial deposits required, you know, for the bachelor's and master's program once they get the offer letter, how much they need to pay? And apart from this, is there any other scholarships or, you know, on campus accommodations available or any internships? So can you please explain these things? Yes, of course. So once the candidate is accepted, um, he needs to pay at least one third of the tuition fees. So for the bachelor, for example, it is 2,500. And after that, we, um, send, we send the student a, a pre-registration certificate. Uh, and he also needs to pay the rest in, uh, I mean, in, the, in the following months. So he, the student have, uh, has to do three consecutive uh, payments. Uh, by credit card or by a bank transfer. Uh, regarding the scholarships, we offer merit-based scholarship for the first year of our bachelor program. So once the student is accepted, uh, he needs to fill in an application form and he needs to write a letter of interest. And he has to explain why we have to choose him for the scholarship. The amount of the scholarship is of 1,500 euros and it is only for the first year. Uh, regarding the master program, it is the same uh, payment in three installments, uh, three consecutive installments uh, by credit card or in one installment by a bank transfer. And uh, what was the last question? I think it was about accommodation. Uh, so the, the accommodation, it really depends uh, on the, the type, the size, whether it is a shared one, uh, but usually the prices vary between uh, to 250, uh, which is the cheapest one, uh, and maybe the most expensive one can go up to 700 euros. Uh, so, Maria, will the university guide the students to book the accommodation? Uh, do they have the facility of on-campus housing? We help students to find an accommodation, but we do not, as a university, we do not have a specific accommodation. So, we will share some links with the student, with the student but it is up to him to also contact a different accommodation and find one. Um, it has to be noted that it is a little different for both campuses, so Sergi and uh, saint germain en -Laye. For uh, Sergi, we have a student accommodation on campus, so we have a colleague that the uh, students can contact and she can manage with the uh, organization, with the accommodation organization to book them a place. But as well, they will have to do on their own some uh, procedures to book this room. For uh, the campus in saint germain -Laye, it's a little more complicated because uh, it's we have private partners. So uh, the student will have, uh, we will send the, the links of the accommodations and the student will have to contact them directly and book with them directly. Whereas for Sergi, uh, the students can't um, contact our colleague. Uh, perfect, Maria. Uh, just to add something, uh, one more thing is that, yeah. I don't know if you, if you are aware, but also students can benefit, benefit from housing allowance. And for example, they can receive uh, from 100 to 300 euros per month uh, from the French government. So this is definitely an advantage here in France. Yes, and that's, the, that's the main benefit, you know, we are uh, giving to all of our associates so that they can convert the students easily for France. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have one more question in the chat box. 
Yeah, so we do not provide uh, proof of accommodation. Uh, it is up to the student to, to find and to contact, uh, uh, for example, different accommodations here at the campus. And uh, yes, I mean, we will send the student a pre-registration certificate, which is accepted uh, from Campus France, and he can start his visa application. And again, from our side, we will also confirm his admission and registration to Campus France. And once the student arrives uh, here at our university, he will receive his student card and also the official uh, school certificate. Um, thanks, Maria. And uh, one more thing for the scholarship, uh, still the students can apply or is there any specific deadline for this fall 2022 intake? Well, first of all, they have to be accepted. Uh, okay. in order to apply. Once they are accepted, we will send them the application form. And I think the application deadline, well, it, it is the same as the application deadline for the bachelor program. So it's going to be next Friday. Okay, fine. And uh, regarding the programs, you know, the bachelor's, master's and MBA, all programs, I think they are RNCP or CGE certified, right? Um, I mean, if we are talking about the, the post-study visa, students don't have any pro problem to receive one. Okay. Uh, our bachelor program is a national diploma, which is yes uh, recognized by the, the French government. Mm -hmm. But if your question is related to the post-study visa, yes, I mean, after our master program, for example, students obtain a one-year post-study visa. It is the same for all our programs. Okay, thank you, Maria. Anybody, if you have any other questions, you can write in the chat box. Uh, Maria, one more request. Can you please share this presentation and the updated brochures and the program details? Uh, so that, you know, we can pass it on to our associates. Yeah, of course, we will send you the brochures and also the application links. Uh, sure. This presentation uh, after, our, uh, after our presentation. And just uh, to emphasize that we, re that we really need candidates for our bachelor program. Um, so if we really look forward um, to, to receiving your applications for the, especially for this program. And again, we require a very, very good level in, in math. Sure, Mariam. Thank you so much. Thank you to you and Noemi for this wonderful presentation and for giving such a detailed information. No, thank you for organizing this, uh, this, this training session. And again, if you have any questions, uh, do not hesitate to, to contact us. Sure, definitely. We'll wait for the promotional materials from your side so we can pass it out and for sure we'll give good number of applications for coming in, Jake. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you both of you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank have you. A nice have a nice day. day. Same bye, bye. bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.